Hello everybody and welcome to a new video in the character design series. It has been a long time since I posted any video, but I have been so extremely busy during the last months that sadly I had no time left to edit and put together any new content for you guys. But now I am back and I cannot tell you how extremely excited I am with the new things I have planned to share with you in the future. Alright, let's jump in with this new character. So I made this character which I call Claudia Sadface for the phase one of the Nemesis Art Challenge. An art challenge created by my friends Corey Hubel, Trevor Claxton and Giorgio Baroni and myself where we are putting our creative abilities to the test against our fellow artists in a challenge of wits and artistic skill. This is an open art challenge that anybody can join anytime and enjoy by the way. So feel free to join and put your skills to the test. This exercise focuses not only on creative ability and execution, but on an artist's skill in discerning direction from very limited sources something every professional artist has been faced with at one time or another. The rules are simple. Artists are randomly paired. Then, independently from one another and in secret, create a protagonist for a newly invented IP. At the end of the two weeks period, each hands over their creations, including whatever supporting materials and sketches they have to their partner. The protagonist images are posted in pairs with links to your partner's work. During the following two weeks, each artist has to create an arch nemesis to their partner's protagonist, using only those supporting materials as direction. We want the final boss here, the character that makes our protagonist's hair stand on end, the antithesis to everything he or she stands for. This isn't the mid boss. This is the final stage, the climatic showdown, the battle for life and death. All images will then be posted together in their matching pairs and you, the viewers, get to decide which combatant will prevail. For this first round, the pairing was as follow. Cody Hubel versus me and Trevor Claxton versus Giorgio Baroni. I will leave on the description section of this video a direct link to each one of their R station pages and all relevant information of the challenge in case you want to join. So let's start with the process for my protagonist character Claudia Sadface. When I started with the character I had some few clear but general ideas in my head of what I wanted to go for. The fun part during this first phase in the challenge is that you have total freedom to create whatever you want for your protagonist. In my case, I knew I wanted my character to be a female with a certain aura of mystery around her and an attitude that reflects she is cunning, lethal but perhaps too serious or trouble on some level. Therefore the name Sadface. So I want to focus on trying to reflect that state of mind in her face and expression but still give her a pose that shows confidence and is relaxed but ready to go in a second. This idea was the only clear direction I had. Then I had this vague idea of doing a design inspired by the novel Dune, a absolute favorite of mine. And what I mean by inspired is for taking this concept from that universe where very high tech coexists with very low tech, like the fact that there are last guns and energy shields, but since the contact of last beams on energy shields can provoke nuclear explosions, people is forced to use antiquated tech like bullet guns, swords and knives in order to avoid that, etc. etc. So with this loose idea in my mind, I started to explore some approaches, like her being a soldier or some sort of bounty hunter. But then, very quickly, I thought that I would dive deeper into this anachronistic concept of using swords in a high-tech world. So the idea of fencing popped in my head and decided to go for it. So at this point, I know Claudia is going to be some sort of mighty sword master in a world where fencing is a very common way of fighting and very high regarded. You could say even to a point of being almost ritualistic. 
She may be part of some sort of knightly order of sword masters, for example. This in mind, I thought of fencing as the main direction to go. So I thought of a thin long fencing sword which can be energized in some sort of electric field or something of the sort to add some level of high tech to the whole thing. And I also started to play with the shapes of old school fencing clothing, which is light and easy to move with, but cushioned for protection. Probably in this world, that means clothes or armor that is made of very high tech fibers that not only manage to protect from sharp objects, but also deflect to a certain extent the energy from the swords. Having the face and general poses done, I focus most of my time now into defining the costume design. As I said, my main direction is fencing clothing. So I try to use a shape language that reminds of classic fencing suits to an elemental level. On top of that, I wanted to add a layer of details that shows that her fencing suit is an equivalent to a medieval knight armor of sorts in the way that it shows her status and it cannot be just practical. It needs to be rich in ornaments and decoration at the same time that is practical. Another element I thought could be cool is to design the costume in a way that shows it is made of several layers and components to add complexity to the whole design. Going back to the inspiration from Dune, I wanted the fencing suit to have certain subtle touches of the historical fashion as well but remaining at the same time new and fresh. I also thought it could be interesting to give some extra depth and context to her role as a mighty sword master to add a horrible scar on her face, to show with this old wound that she has a long history as a warrior, and perhaps a painful reminder from a defeat that she tries to hide under her hair because she's ashamed, not of the scar itself, but of what it symbolized for her. When I am happy with most of the costume design elements, I decided to add some extra details here and there to underline the high-tech aspect of the costume with some wires, cables and small gadgets. At this point, I also tried to play with the colors of the suit to find a shape pattern to make the whole design more interesting from afar, and also with the color of her hair, to add a little bit more visual punch and to suggest the fact that this is a sci-fi setting as well. And that is for today. I hope you liked the video and enjoyed the small explanation into the inside of my thoughts when creating this character. If you did, please give a like and share this video. It certainly helps independent artists like me to continue doing this. And like always, if you have any feedback or suggestions for new content, please write them down on the comment section. And until next time, have a good one and bye bye.